darn tough socks. That's what I'm looking at today with you guys. So these are some of the darn tough socks I have. And uh, darn tough, as you probably know, are made in the United States in Vermont. And um, they come with a lifetime replacement warranty guarantee. So if you wear them out, get a hole in them or whatever, you contact them and uh, they'll exchange you a new pair of socks. So that's probably the fundamental thing about darn tough socks is that replacement guarantee. I mean, that just separates them from anything else on the market. As far as I know, nobody else does that for socks. So, um, so that's why I've really been experimenting with them. It's a, they have a pretty extensive line and it's a little difficult to figure out what the right sock is because they have nine different um, thicknesses and padding amounts on the socks. It gets a little confusing. I see now this year they have a, uh, a guide on each page on their website of all the different sock thicknesses and cushions that they make. So that's very helpful. Still a little confusing. And then when you switch, most of them I always buy on Amazon because they're a few bucks cheaper. And, um, you know, some of the buyer, some of the sellers get confused too. So you sort of have to double check, you know, look at the style and everything you're, and don't go by what the seller wrote in the description on the Amazon page, but look at this, you know, make sure it matches what darn tough's website says to make sure you're getting the right sock that you want. So, but, uh, so yeah, so I've been trying a bunch just to try and figure out, uh, for me, I'm, I'm a pretty sweaty guy and all their socks run a little warm on me. And so I've just been kind of trying different ones to see if there's ones that are a little cooler or, uh, more comfortable for me personally. But I, I really can't get past the, the lifetime warranty on those. I mean, that just, you can't beat it on the market. So why go with a different pair of socks they are more expensive i mean they're going to run from 10 bucks a pair on up to you know 25 bucks a pair for their heaviest ski socks but um you can't beat the the guarantee on them so just to show you a few uh, the pairs i have here the uh, first pair here with the world championship stripes is the micro crew ultralight so ultra ultralight is the the weight of the sock and then the micro crew is the height so you can see you know kind of a crew sock there and ultralight is the lightest weight they make and um it's a fairly dense sock but it is a very thin sock so but it feels very durable they kind of market this to running and cycling and but this is probably the sock I wear the most just all around because it's a, a black sock. It matches what I wear and um, it seems pretty breathable. Um, so this one has the stripes at the top. It has a little Darn Tough logo at the back there. It says Darn Tough across the toes. Um, and one thing too is all the toes on all their socks seem to be cut the same. So and they're cut pretty well for running. There's no big seams to rub on your toes. Um, so pretty much, you know, as long as one pair of darn tough socks works for you running, uh, pretty much any pair should, um, if you want to change the thickness or whatever, because they're all cut the same. On the inside of the cuff, you can see it'll tell you the size of the sock. So I wear an XL in them, and I wear about a 13 shoe typically. And then on the inside, on the other side, it just says Vermont, USA, where they're made. So this is the ultralight in the crew, the micro crew height. This is also an ultralight sock, um, but this is in a over the calf height. So this is one of their ski socks, but again, no padding, just a very thin sock. Um, so I thought that'd be kind of cool for trail running and stuff to protect my shins. So those are both ultralight. This uh, third pair here is um, also an ultralight pair, um, but this has Coolmax in it. So a few of their socks, they do 
offer with cool max instead of some of the other fabrics which although they are merino wool socks they're they're always a blend so they're not 100 percent merino wool because i don't think the durability would be there so they're mixed with nylon and usually two or three different fabrics so but this is pair has cool max in it which i was kind of trying out just to see if they would be a little cooler and um i don't know i i'm i'm not sure yet so i'm still kind of trying them out so this is height wise this is a quarter crew and this is the vertex ultralight sock so again their thinnest weight um but with cool max so i've been wearing those for running somewhat and then these are, um, let's see. So these are ultralight as well, but these are cushion. So ultralight cushion. Um, so it's a thin fabric, but now on the bottom of the foot, there's it's thicker. So it's cushioned there. And again, these are made with Cool Max. So I was kind of trying those out to see, you know, for work and stuff, if they would be um, a little cooler. So. Yeah, and still trying them out. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. But yeah, so that's the Vertex Micro Crew Ultralight. Oh, 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 yeah, Ultralight Cushion Sock. If I have all my socks right. Okay. This is a pretty snazzy pair. This is um bumping up to their light weight so there's ultra light is the lightest and then this supposedly is their light so the next thicker model honestly i feel like these light weight fabric socks are just as light if not thinner than the ultra lights these are almost more like a dress sock is how i would think of them um they're pretty comfortable they're uh light and this is a crew a crew height so those, those look pretty nice. I like those to, um, to jazz up outfits. Okay, moving on. This is, um, let's see here. So this is their standard issue crew sock cushion. So crew sock height and the, the thickness is just called cushion. So it's kind of a mid-weight sock they offer. Um, I wear these for work sometimes when I'm on my feet a lot, but they're pretty heavy a pretty heavy sock honestly um the top of the foot is is thin it's not really padded but the rest of the sock the leg and the bottom of the foot is pretty thick and my feet do get pretty warm in them so i mean i think it'd be good in the winter and of course all this depends on you know your own body type if you run hot or cold or or whatever so and then finally these are the um these are called the boot sock their full cushion is the thickness. So this is getting to be one of the thickest socks that um, Darn Tough makes. And uh, so I thought it would be, you know, good for outdoors. But honestly, it is so heavy. Not heavy in weight, but so warm. And um, I, I mean, I think it would be good for sitting in a tree stand, like that kind of winter activity. But they're just so hot on my feet that I, I really have never worn them. And, um, but again, if you're going to be out for hours and hours in the cold in the winter, not really moving around, then some of Darn Tough's heaviest socks may be the way to go for you. So that's an example of those. But yeah, overall, just a really great company. Again, unbeatable warranty, replacement guarantee, and, um, so well i have tried lots and lots of other socks these are comfortable enough they work for running and whatnot and with that warranty i've pretty much just been switching gradually over to all darn tough socks in my wardrobe so again you pay a little bit up front but then you know uh you're you're pretty much set after that so check them out, darn tough. Um, again, uh, Amazon carries most of their line for a little bit cheaper than darn tough's direct website, but um, and just be careful. Look at the pictures and things to make sure you're getting the right thickness and uh, that you're looking for. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.